All right, hi everybody. So we've got a couple boxes here for FedEx today. So, uh, finally kind of went with a chose a battery for our electric APU or EPU, whatever you want to call it. So we got Road Warrior uh, lightning bolt batteries here. They're a lithium battery, same size as a Type 31 or your regular type truck battery that you see in pretty much every truck out there. The one thing, there's two batteries in each one of these boxes. And then you see, you can just pick that up with one hand. So now I got a scale up here to weigh these. And that's one of the things we was looking at was weight factor, warranty, and longevity. So they got a three year warranty on these, which is about twice as long than most of the batteries I've seen. Most batteries, standard batteries out there, you know, 18 months. There might be some out there with 24s. One of the reasons I was kind of against AGMs is because they are like twice as heavy. If you've ever picked up, the first time I dealt with AGMs, I usually I'll grab like regular acid filled batteries, nine, the Type 31s, I'll grab two of them and carry two at a time. It was like carrying four batteries at once. So they're extremely heavy. And part of this is to cut down on weight. I mean, again, the long longevity factor I mean they're hoping these have been in testing for roughly four years from what I understand and they're they're hoping to get five-year lifespan out of them like I said they're warranted for three years so uh, they are a little bit more expensive almost twice as much I guess as an AGM I believe uh, MSRP on these is just under the $800 mark uh, this is something that most likely we're gonna stock here and pricing might be possibly be a little bit better um, so like I said it is something that we're gonna have here and offer with our system. And there is an AGM option as well. Like I said, I'm kind of excited about these, like I said, mainly because of the weight, the warranty, and the longevity, and more cycles, uh, you know, drawdowns and, um, and recharges than a typical battery. And lastly would be the time you can get out of the batteries before you have to start the truck back up or the truck starts up automatically. And uh, right now in testing, they've been around 13 hours or so. So like if you're doing a 10 hour break, I mean, you could easily get eight hours of sleep without the truck starting up and waking you up. So that's a big factor. I don't think there's anything out there. I mean, we've got a lot of questions. Well, what do we do on a 34 hour restart or this is that? Other than a diesel option, I don't think there's any option out there, you know, with a battery pack that's going to get you 34 hours of constant, consistent runtime. But I think this is probably going to be the longest option, the best longevity, and, and be able to get you at least that 10 hours where you don't have to um, start the truck back up or have it start up on, on while you're sleeping. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and open these up and see what we got. Right. The trusty Leatherman Skeletal. That muscle. All right, so we got a couple uh, lugs and some bolts, some studs right on the top there. And you got your product manual. Oh wow, those are extremely light. <laughs> Yeah, I said I think even Sophia can lift it with maybe one hand. <laughs> so 12 volt, uh, 13, or sorry, 100 amp hour, 1300 watt hour. So plug and play installation. Yeah, yeah it's hard to read upside down here. So. And it also works in parallel with your starting battery. So that's a big factor as well. So it ain't like you gotta put a whole nother starting charging system on the truck. So they will charge with your standard alternator, just like in, in parallel. You can basically come off of your existing batteries or existing alternator to charge these batteries as well. So I got my little scale, a little shipping scale set up here. And I actually wanted to weigh one of these and see exactly where they're at. So right there, we're looking at 22.1 pounds as far as what my scale says. So roughly with four batteries, you're going to be under 100 pounds. As far as battery boxes, we're kind of looking at how we're, what we're going to fabricate. Uh, if we're going to fabricate something, I mean, obviously different trucks are going to take different requirements to, to mount things. So like I said, probably the first couple ones we do would be custom made here in-house. In 
and then we may look at sourcing stuff out as we go. So yeah, I think these are pretty cool. It's gonna be nice for the drivers, for your bottom line. Like I said, I'm, I'm excited to see how it's gonna, all gonna work out. So we got our first test unit coming in, truck coming in that we're a local customer that we're gonna be working on here within the next two weeks. And then we'll have some more results and uh, kind of how everything plays out and, and kind of a more concrete price we're gonna be at with our, our EPU unit and the batteries. So, so if you're interested in this type of stuff, stay tuned. Uh, there'll be a lot more to follow, not only Cool videos, I guess, but uh, uh, we'll be offering a, a product to, to help you on your journeys as well. So appreciate you all watching. I um, want to thank uh, Road Warrior uh, for, for sending these out to us, uh, the Lightning Volts. And um, so that's pretty much all I got today, guys. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate all the support. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell for the updates and like the video. We'll see you next time.